Well, let's get more now on the extreme weather hitting China and other parts of the world. Ma Jun is the director of the Institution of Public and Environmental Affairs in Beijing. I asked him what the conditions are like now in Henan province. Fortunately, we, uh, we have just gone through the, the worst of it, and um, uh, now it's uh, getting better. Uh, the, the rainfall in Henan province uh, uh, is now getting lighter, and um, uh, after these days of torrential rainfall. What is your sense about this? Can we say categorically that this is the story and the consequence of climate change? Yeah, of course, uh, each of these ex extreme weather uh, have some sort of uh, uh, a specific uh, reasons behind that, a, a kind of a low vortex uh, in Henan, and then the, the uh, kind of a typhoon coming, and uh, actually two typhoons uh, approaching China at that time, and uh, then keep pushing all this uh, uh, humidity, you know, th this wind with all this steam from the sea into the inland. So we can't just say uh, specifically this one is linked to climate change. But, uh, but, but from the uh, 1960s, we do uh, observe a uh, steady rise of uh, e extreme rainfall. As we watch these other freak weather events uh, happening worldwide, is there perhaps uh, reason to believe uh, that these kinds of uh, weather conditions will intensify in the coming years, or is this just a, a, a tragic one-off? Uh, yeah, uh, I think uh, according to all this uh, uh, scientific research, uh, we, uh, we do see a rising ratio of uh, extreme weather and uh, uh, climate-induced, uh, uh, climate change-induced uh, disasters. Uh, so that has been ob observed. Uh, and uh, also most of the scientists uh, believe that uh, the rising uh, temperature will lead to a more sort of dynamic uh, climate. Uh, so that will lead to uh, all this extreme weather and, uh, and, and disasters. And uh, now it's extremely worrisome to see the uh, bushfire in even uh, deep north in Siberia and uh, those may course uh, and also a kind of a drought in Amazon. Those may, may, may lead to some, something called the positive feedback that can release far more uh, carbon into the air and, the, uh, and worsen the greenhouse uh, uh, effect. So we, we must pay attention and uh, start taking action now. How much is China's flooding tragedy about building cities in the wrong places, in particular in areas prone to flooding. That part we also need to uh, pay attention. I think now, you know, uh, when we face this climate change situation, uh, first we, we must mitigate, we must reduce our carbon emission. You know, China pledged to go carbon neutral by 2060 to neutralize more than 10 billion tons of carbon dioxide. But on the other hand, we must try to take actions to adapt to a changing uh, climate. So how to build our cities in the right place and in the right way to make it more resilient uh, to, to, to the, all this climate change uh, impact. That's also a major challenge.